Hi everyone, it's Helen here. As so many of you have requested, today I will make Vietnamese yogurt. If never tried before, you might be wondering what makes Vietnamese yogurt so different. In Vietnamese, we call it sữa chua or ya ua, probably following the French pronunciation of yogurt. It is smooth and silky with a creamy texture and light consistency. It has a perfect balance of sweet and sour with a slight touch of tartness. Vietnamese yogurt is consumed at any time of the day as a snack or dessert, even after a bowl of pho for breakfast. It can be a frozen yogurt or a yogurt drink over some cross ice or added it in a jar. When I was a little kid, about 20 years plus ago, the yogurt is put in a little plastic bag and is made frozen in a freezer. It used to be my favorite cold treat besides ice cream. You suck at it from one corner end of the bag. It's cold and sweet like ice cream, but in the form of a lollipop but in your bag. <laughs> How cool is that? Of course, you can also make Vietnamese yogurt in a glass jar by recycling like baby food glass containers, for example, to save the environment. Helen's recipes. The recipe is extremely simple. You only need one can of sweetened condensed milk, about 380 grams. This is pretty standard and longevity brand or Sri Om Tho is just the classic here in Vietnam. We don't really have measuring cups here, so just use the same can as the measurement. You will need one can of boiling hot water, pour into the condensed milk and stir to dissolve the sweetened condensed milk. Then add another one and a half cans of room temperature water. To make high quality yogurt, you can also replace the water with whole milk. I think the original recipe from 20 years ago only called for water. Otherwise, they wouldn't make any profits by selling the yogurt bags for just a few cents, right? And fresh meal wasn't that popular back then either. You also need some store-bought yogurt for the first batch. After the first batch, you can save one bag of Vietnamese yogurt you make for the next time. This way, you don't have to buy plain yogurt from the store every time you make it. Stir well to dissolve the yogurt completely and use a small strainer to remove all the foam. Pour it into the glass jars or glasses. If you would like to recall the childhood memories with the little frozen yogurt bags, you can buy little plastic bags like this at Stable, for example. Uh, it's called poly bags. Uh, it's the 3 by 5 inches. Pour the big jars into the bag to fill about two thirds full. And then let the bottom touch the counter and quickly gather the open ends and twist around a few times to incorporate some air into the bag. Tie it up with a rubber band and you will have a really cute bag of yogurt. Arrange the bag in a saucepan and you will need warm water about 40 to 50 degrees Celsius or 120 Fahrenheit. It's a little hotter than your normal hot shower. You can mix 50% of boiling hot water with 50% of room temperature water. Fill the saucepan with this warm water to cover up about two thirds of the bags. And close the lid and use a bath towel to cover the entire saucepan to keep it warm as long as possible. You can place it in a warm plate and let it sit overnight. You can also place the yogurt jars in a rice cooker and just don't plug it in and leave it overnight to keep it warm. After about 5 to 8 hours, the milk mixture will set into a light custard. You can see it's not jiggling here. You can eat it out of the jar or freeze these bags to recreate that childhood treat. After freezing, it will become firm like an ice cream, very nice consistency and texture. To eat, you just uh, <laughs> cut, buy a hole at the corner end. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I feel like a little kid again. <laughs> mm. If you grew up in the 90s or 80s like myself, I'm sure you could really relate to this. 
It's a really, really fun snack. If you give it a try, please share with me a photo on Instagram with hashtag Helen Recipes. Please follow me on social media like Facebook and Instagram where I post snap clips of everyday food in Vietnam. And please also subscribe and check out other playlists for more awesome Vietnamese food. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!